Good morning, Melody Festival. You're watching ESC Go. My name is Felix. And today we have a special guest, the Schlager expert of the Tuesday show, Mr. Noel O'Neill. Yay! Good morning. Good morning, dear. Nice to be back with you it's, on camera. Yes, it's great. I love it. And what a great title, Schlager Expert. Yeah. I, I don't know if that. I've earned the title, but we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Um, today is the big day. Tonight is the Melody Festival in final. Yes. I'm so excited. Even though it's come so quickly in the end. I mean, does. yeah, even though I, we, I've been following it for the six weeks, well, five weeks mm -hmm. plus this week, it just, it's like, tonight it will be, we'll know the result. Yeah. It's like, wow. Tonight we will know who will represent Sweden at the Eurovision Song Contest 2015 in Vienna, Austria. And yesterday we were at the party in the club somewhere close to the hotel. <laughs> somewhere, yes. But, um, um, one thing occurred to me. Mm. I was in the subway yesterday and the escalators were shut down due to security reasons. Oh. Lots of Eurovision fans were forced to have a party in a very tiny room oh, yes. in the club while the huge dance floor was completely it's empty. Completely empty. Just like last year. The same thing happened last year. And I mean, surely the, the people who own this club know that most people are there for the Melody Festival in music. Yeah. I mean... You know, that's where all the guests come from on a weekend like this. So, I don't know. Yeah. For security reasons, they maybe should have the Eurovision fans dance on the big dance floor. Maybe well, yes. Maybe could be a... Because <laughs> actually, last night it did get quite frightening towards mm -hmm. the end. There were so many people in this tiny space. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I couldn't do any dance moves. I was not impressed. Yeah. If I did any dance moves, I would have killed someone. <laughs> yeah, speaking of a lot of people in a small place, tonight there will be a lot of people in a huge place, which is the <laughs> Friends Arena, which is quite remote. We already said yesterday Christa Bjorkman himself isn't, doesn't really seem to be very happy about the location. And, but what do the fans say? I don't know, but we want to show you how they reacted to Samir and Victor after the show. <laughs> I'm still hoping to get a group interview with Samir and Victor, but they are busy. Stays of us. Yeah. Heavens. <laughs> It was quite loud in the arena. We saw people covering their ears. <laughs> <laughs> what, during the song or just afterwards? <laughs> no, um, I didn't know during the song. But <laughs> when they spotted Sanya and... No, I don't even know where Victor was. Maybe he was hiding somewhere. <laughs> I don't somewhere. blame him. So I didn't get to get my uh, groupie interview with him, which I actually wanted to do. But... Rude. Anyway. Show must go on. We also got to talk to Dinana. How would you feel if you came second and the winner of Melody Festival says, No, please, Dina, go to Eurovision? I would, I would, I would be happy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I don't think that's going to happen here. <laughs> to everybody who loves my song out there, I am so happy for your support. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I like her. Yeah. I like that, Dina. I like the song a lot. Oh, I love the song. <laughs> we pl they played, well, of course they played it last yeah. night in the club, and the place just went crazy. Yeah. Well, I did I expected, anyway. yeah. I, I did, I did went crazy <laughs> as well. Of course. Do you also go crazy about Philippa Park? Yes, I do. I want to meet her. I want to be interviewed by her. I want to be insulted by her. Everything. <laughs> She's my hero. <laughs> Yeah, yesterday we also saw the dress rehearsal for the Melody Festival in final where she also, of course, she also played a role there. And she is introducing herself to the international viewers, oh. saying, I'm Philippa Bark, like the dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless her, I love us. Oh, yay. Yeah. 
Yeah, and she, she also, you will see it tonight, tune in. Um, yes. Exactly. Then we also got to meet Jon Henrik Fjellge. The goats is the, is the Northern Lights back me. Uh, it's my home on stage. Every, everything on stage is from my home. So. I was worried at the beginning. He wasn't very talkative. Mm -hmm. But uh, but I mean, I can't say anything. If someone started asking me questions in Swedish or Sami, I wouldn't be able to give any answers. Yeah. So. And I think he has a call. At least when I shook his hand, he was quite hot. Oh. I'm a bit worried that he might have a fever, but that's... Oh. I have no further information about that. Okay, but no, no... But probably that's why he was quite okay. quiet. I think. So, yes, but no official illness fiasco. Not that I heard of. Okay. Um, but how would it look like if your home was on stage? Oh my goodness, if my home was on stage, well, there would have to be glitter, of course. Of course. Glitter everywhere. Um, and um, I actually, the, uh, my cousin gave me a pink microphone for Christmas, so that would have to be there, obviously. <laughs> obviously. And um, I don't know what sort of other people I would have on stage. Mm. I'm quite egotistic, so I think I would just want it to be me. <laughs> or, and maybe some backing singers that nobody can actually see, you know, yeah. doing most of the singing. Yeah. Um, so yes, I think just mm. glitter and pink microphones. Mm. 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 <laughs> so now I wonder, what, what are your personal favourites for tonight? Tonight, well personally, if we never had to think of Eurovision, um, Hasse Andersson, of yeah. course. I mean, it's just so Swedish yeah. and just so catchy. I mean, I just love it. And they even played that last night they, in the club. They did, I mean, we loved it. We loved it, it was <laughs> fabulous. Yeah. Um, I, I actually do also love Jon Henrik Fjellgren. Yeah. I love, I love that kind of music generally. Maybe it's because I'm mm -hmm. Irish or something, I don't know. <laughs> And I just love the stage presentation and with the girls and, with the, girls and the dancers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and my third would be, oh, it's hard because I actually quite like nearly all of the songs. Yeah. But um, I do like Eric Sada. I like Sting uh -huh. a lot. I think it's okay. really catchy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We agree with two out of three. Oh, excellent. Also for me, it's Hasse and Jon Henrik Fjellgren as my two big favorites, and also Dinana. Oh, of course, Also yes. Dinana. I mean, yeah, I could easily have said her too. I could have said nearly any of them, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah. But when we're speaking of chances to win tonight, of course, mm -hmm. there's Mont Selmelöv. Of course. One of, no, probably the biggest favorite of the night, yes. but it's not decided yet. I think maybe we're getting a surprise and that it's Hasse in the end. I, oh uh, my god. It, I don't exclude it, but he might be last as well. So mm, well, what do yeah, know? I wouldn't exclude it totally, yeah. yes, and I think he'll probably do well in the televoting. Mm -hmm. I, I really have no idea what the juries are going to yeah. think about it. Um, I think being the last to perform really, really helps it a lot. Yes, and I was so surprised when yeah. he was put on last, because mm -hmm. I wouldn't have thought that SVT thought he was a big favourite to yeah. win or anything. Mm -hmm. But then suddenly they put him on last, mm -hmm. and I mean, almost ever since then he's getting more and more popular. Yeah. 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 So I'll see, it might have been a dangerous decision for <laughs> SVT in the yeah. end. Yeah. Um, you're seeing the weather is still amazing. It's, it's fabulous. It's sunny, it's up to six degrees in the daytime and in the night it can get up, down to minus two degrees. But it's gonna stay like that also on Sunday and Monday. If you still arrive on Monday, you're too late, but <laughs> there will be nice weather. Yes, you'll still enjoy the city. It's, it's good. Yeah. So, I hope you enjoy the show tonight. Yes. Have great fun, because it's fabulous and you know it. May the best song win. We see each other again tomorrow morning at the third and last edition of Good Morning Melody Festival and for this year. And the last words are going to the hosts of tonight, Sana and Robin. They have a message for you. We will yes. ho hope that you uh, enjoy the show. Exactly. And uh, have as much fun as we will have. Yeah. Great. I agree. <laughs>